Good morning guys. Today is January 7th and it is my last first day of school. I'm a senior at the University of Central Florida and this is my last semester and like it hasn't really hit me yet um but it is and it's weird and it's kind of scary. I'll get into just more of that later like all my feelings on my last semester. I've definitely been getting into my feels lately, um, but it's currently 7.07. .07. I honestly thought it was going to be a lot harder to get up. I mean, it was still hard, but I did it. It was doable. Like, we're here. Um, but over winter break, like literally every day, I would not wake up before 10 or 11. So I'm just going to have to get used to this. Um, if you guys don't know, I have an internship. I work with UCF Social Media. And usually my hours are Monday through Wednesday, 8 to 1, so I do 15 hours per week. They let you pick your hours, which is super nice and, like, flexible and stuff like that, but i just rather, like, get up early, wake up early, do my work, because I feel like I work better in the mornings. I'm not, like, super distracted in the mornings, um, and then I get off at 1, so I can eat, do errands then, and come back to my sorority house, do sorority events, anything like that, so it's really nice. Um, and I get to do really fun stuff in my internship. But I'm going to get ready. Last night I washed my hair and I literally blow dried just the top. And I think I'm going to start doing that because like it doesn't look super bad. Like I actually kind of like it. It has a little volume. But like the bottom it doesn't really matter because like whatever. Like even when I blow dry it I'm like why am I doing this? Like no one's going to see it. My hair is naturally like wavy. Not super straight but like it used to be way more like curly especially when I scrunch it but I don't know it's just getting straight now which I'm kind of sad about because I used to like wearing my hair like natural for my internship I usually don't really wear makeup especially when I'm having like a super good skin day but I mean it's my first day back so I'm gonna put like a little bit on I just used this moisturizer it's the Clinique Moisture Surge Intense Skin Fortifying Hydrator. I really like this. It's super moisturizing. And if you guys didn't know, I'm super dry. I actually have eczema, so I usually sleep in an ointment mask. So when I know I have to get ready super fast, I will use this stick foundation. It is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick Foundation in the color 173 equals Y445. So I'm just going to put this like literally like dab it on my face because my skin looks pretty good today but i don't know i just want to like look a little bit more alive then i'm gonna blend it out with my sephora airbrush i'm pretty sure that's what it's called my roommate hasn't gotten back yet so that's why i'm able to film this because usually she's still sleeping by now honestly i would be too so early <laughs> then i'm gonna take my max studio fix in the color NC43 and I'm just gonna pat this all over my face. I like putting this powder on when I have like a little bit of like a foundation base because when I put this on alone I feel like it just gets patchy throughout the day. It doesn't really stick to my face um very well on its own. So now I'm gonna do eyebrows. I hate doing eyebrows because they just always look different and it's just so time consuming I feel like um and I just hate them. I've definitely thought about getting them microbladed, but like majority of the time it does not look good on everyone. So I don't know if I want to risk it, honestly. I honestly do my eyebrows pretty sloppy when I like don't really care. Um, but I just need to fill them in a little bit because they're very, very sparse. My internship is business casual or like that's what they told me, but I looked it up on Pinterest last night and jeans aren't really business casual or like what I saw wasn't so we're allowed to wear like jeans and I'm wearing a UCF t-shirt but I think that's only in like our department a lot of the other people dress more nice because they have to be ready for like seeing other people so I'm honestly really blessed that I can dress this way I'm using my bronzer from my makeup forever self-made palette I'm gonna quickly do mascara and then I'm gonna be done so I've been recently using the fully charged mascara by pure and I love it but it's kind of like hard for me not to love a mascara especially if it's new because like you know it's like all new and it's like not dry but I also really like the brush of it usually I put bottom mascara on but today I'm not gonna do that just because I don't want to I'm feeling really lazy today usually I don't even wear this much makeup to my internship sometimes I do want to look nice though so 
this is what I do. But I do film for the internship, so whenever it's a filming day, I will do full glam because I just like to. And sometimes I'll even put on fake lashes. So now I'm going to get my lunch ready and my food ready. So if I get off at 1, I'll come straight to the sorority house and eat meal plan because it only closes at 1.30. So that's why I try to go in early and get out a little bit early so that I can like eat. We are able to get late plates, but... I just like getting seconds and sometimes like the houseboys won't put in like what you really want you know because there's not really like a space where you can like write like extra of this you know so I just like going and getting it myself and eating whatever I want especially because we have a salad bar and I like eating the veggies in there like the tomatoes and stuff like that but today I have to do like a lot of errands after I get out of my internship I have to put some things in the mail center to return like my hard drive and stuff like that what else while I'm also over at the Waterford Center, I like to do like a lot of errands over there because I just like don't like going over there every single day. It's, you know, kind of out of the way. Um, and so I want to look at American Eagle jeans because the one and only pair that I had, like the jeggings kind, ripped. And I was so sad because I've had them for forever and I wear them like literally every day to my internship. So I need another pair of dark, just regular skinny jeans that are super stretchy and comfortable for me to wear to work. I also need to sell some of my books from last semester, um, and I guess that's it, but I thought I had more. Oh, and also I want to go to hot work, so I have to get my bag ready for that. So it's 7.39. I usually try to leave at like 7.45 or 7.50 just because I'm super duper close. Like I live on campus, and my job is like basically on campus, which is so, so nice. I have all my snacks packed for the day. I brought a Honeycrisp apple which are my favorite. I also brought these enchilada things that are made out of cheese and not a tortilla, if that makes sense. So I'm pretty sure they're keto um, and they're so, so good. They're not like a super big portion. Also, I kind of want to give you a quick little rundown if you're new to my channel. Um, I am studying radio television here at UCF. I'm in my last semester and I did the generalist track. So I don't really have to take a capstone or anything like that for my major. And this semester I'm actually taking two online classes that are just fillers for my credit. So I'm done with my major, I'm done with my minor. And all I really have to do is just get credit. <laughs> so I'm taking some easy classes online. Um, and yeah, technically I'm not really like going to school. So sorry if you guys wanted to see me like go to school, but like... I'm not. <laughs> I did my time, trust me. Um, last semester I also took two, I'm pretty sure. I took my internship and a class that was a night class that freaking sucked. And I mean the professor was like awesome, but I don't think anyone like actually enjoys a night class and that was the first one I ever had to take. So it was definitely not fun for me. It was like three hours long. It was just complete torture for me. <laughs> but I'm so happy to finally be done with like actual classes like I love going on campus because like first of all we have a beautiful campus and I just like love being on campus because it makes me so happy to see like other people um and just like not that not that I like to say hi and talk to everyone that I like see but it just like makes me feel like super happy to be here I don't know that's kind of weird getting in my feels sorry and that's something I definitely want to do more this year I want to go on campus more whether it's just like studying or getting a coffee or just like walking around taking like a nice stroll like biking around campus I don't know I just want to go on campus more because it makes me happy and I need to get out of my room I don't want you guys to think that like I'm too chill my senior year if that makes sense like I did my time I took two classes two to three classes every summer so that's why I was so ahead and I started like the summer B early so yeah, so I literally could have graduated like this fall, but I just wanted to stay here an extra semester because I could not, like, I can't, I still can't fathom that it's my last semester. I don't want to leave. Like, yes, of course, I want to be back in Georgia with Ryan and like, just like be back. But also like, I don't know, I just like, I'm super scared about like the job hunting process and like all that just scares me. So... I'm trying to stay here as long as possible. So it's currently 7.44. I'll wait a couple more minutes and then leave. Usually I'm kind of like rushing out the door because usually I get up at 7 and t today I woke up at 6.30 just because I wanted to have time to like vlog and talk because, especially because my roommate wasn't there. Um, but at my internship, I create content for the UCF 
official YouTube channel. It's super fun because I get to plan out the content, film it, edit it, and I'm also getting to work on and learn a lot of the Adobe programs like After Effects and Premiere. And yes, I have never edited on Premiere before this job. Um, I usually use Final Cut Pro and I was super scared to like learn something else just because I was so accustomed to one way but now I'm able to do both ways I mean I think I'm gonna like have to brush up on my skills because I haven't done it in a month but I'm super super glad that like I had to like learn these um, programs because now I can put it on my resume and it was definitely one of my goals to like learn more of the Adobe Suites next up is Illustrator definitely want to learn that one um, but I also have a long way to go with Premiere and After Effects um, so now I know Lightroom, Photoshop and those two but I definitely want to learn more, so. The series that I do on their YouTube channel is called The Campus Nights, and I will leave the link in the description box below if you guys want to check out, like, any of my videos. Um, I started in August, so, like, anything from, like, August on have been my videos, but I have been in, like, a couple of other ones on their channel, so if you guys want to check it out, then go ahead and click that link. All right, so it's time to drive over to my internship. Um, I'm going to try to vlog a little bit, but... I'm not promising anything. I'm done with my internship for the day. I'm currently in Waterford. I'm gonna start my errands. First, I'm gonna return a hard drive because mine crashed. This has happened to me like too many times, guys. Way too many times. And the feeling of your hard drive crashing is like, like a heartbreak that is unexplainable. <laughs> it's just so sad. And it's kind of annoying because I have to pay for shipping on this hard drive. Like, this is not my fault that your hard drive broke. It's really not, it just like randomly stopped working and I was just like, can you not? Because it hasn't even been a whole year with this dang hard drive. So I think I already told you guys, but my American Eagle jeans ripped, so I need new ones ASAP because those were literally my favorite jeans and I wore them so much. So I'm gonna go step in there. Hopefully I find like a similar one or the same one, hopefully. I don't know why, but I literally can't come to Waterford without going into Plato's Closet and Encore Style. But I just found these really cool jeans. I don't know if they're like too big on me in the crotch area though, but they're cool, so I'm just gonna get them. So I went into American Eagle, and the only jeans I saw were like the ones with the really weird stitching. I just like didn't want to pay that much for like jeans that I didn't love. It's currently 3.30 and at 3 I hopped on a call with some people to talk about an opportunity that could happen this semester. I'm at Hotworks right now so I'm gonna go in there. Um, I'll try to show you guys a little bit of my workout. I'm not really sure what I want to do yet. When I was in Play-Dohs I actually bought a workout top um, as well as those jeans because I just didn't want to work out in this. And also you can never have enough workout tops. Owners here, but you can release a little bit when you come down to the squat. Bring it back up. We're gonna tiny dead on our back. I'm sweating so much. So I'm done with hot works. I took a shower. Um, I didn't wash my hair, so I'm kind of scared to see what it's gonna look like. I told you guys on Insta stories that like literally I don't like going to the gym and working out just because of my hair. I feel like I either get into the grind of working out and my hair never looking nice or like me never looking nice because I just don't think it's worth it or I look nice all the time but like I don't feel good because I'm not working out. So oh my god this is bad. <laughs> I put it in like a bun and that's what I did in the shower so. I'm gonna probably have to straighten that later. I feel like I've talked about Hotworks a lot, but if you guys are interested in Hotworks or like already go to Hotworks, pro tip, wear leggings and don't wear shorts because you will get so sweaty and you will feel so gross when your legs are literally dripping sweat. 
I mean it's a great feeling it's very rewarding but like also you can't even like hold your like poses and your postures like if you're holding one of your legs on the other leg like it just will slip so always wear leggings I've definitely learned that over the time I've been at Hotworks um but yesterday I got some Sephora samples and I kind of want to test them out I literally always get samples when I'm at Sephora you can get up to three so every time you're at Sephora like why not you know why not try out other things because I end up buying majority of okay maybe not majority but like a lot of the things that I get samples for. I got a sample for the Luna Oil and I bought this. Got a sample for Summer Fridays, I bought this. I may have gotten a sample for the Clinique Moisture Surge Intense and I got this. Um, and just like a lot of other stuff I've bought from samples. My friend Megan is coming to meal plan soon. I haven't seen her in so long. I'm so excited to be reunited with my friends. My roommate just got back, but I think she's in class. And then my two other best friends, they're coming back like on Tuesday or Wednesday. And I'm like, rude like i've been waiting for you guys here i miss you guys y'all bachelor is on tonight and i don't know how to feel i have like a very love-hate relationship with the show because i don't really like watching it because it's just such a long show but like also it's like interesting and like i like the franchise and like it's just all everyone ever talks about so like if you don't watch it then you're just not up to date on anything i feel like but it's just such a hassle like going downstairs to the PBR because we only have one TV in the sorority house. So you have to like claim a spot on the couch, you know, that whole deal. Otherwise your ass is going to be like hurting for two hours sitting on the floor. It's just, it's just a hassle, you know. I'm actually really excited that this is my last semester in the sorority house. Like I love it to death and like I wouldn't have changed anything. But like, I don't know, it's just kind of like I'm excited to have my own space again. Um, and you can't blame me like I have a roommate and it's great and like there's nothing wrong with having a roommate But like I'm just looking forward to having my own space It's also really really scary that this is my last semester because I feel like everything is just at such a convenience to me right now because I'm in college and I live on campus and everything that you ever need is based around the campus So like everything's so close to me, you know my jobs on campus. It's like five minutes away like every restaurant that I ever want to go to five minutes away the movies maybe 10 minutes away like everything is just so freaking close but when I move back to Georgia everything's just everywhere like family lives you know all over Georgia and it's just I feel like nothing's gonna be very convenient anymore but I mean I have to get like look past that obviously because like that's just not how life works unfortunately but I've definitely been a little bit spoiled being here at UCF and like living on campus um so if you guys ask me should I live on campus yes you definitely need to I lived in the dorms for one semester and I loved it and the only reason I did it for one semester is because the next semester I got a shared room and I was just like not about it and look at me now I have a shared room but a sorority house is like way more fun so whatever <laughs> Hey guys, so it's been a couple of days um, after the first day of school. I did a little bit of work, but um, today is drop ad. I added a couple more classes just to see which one's the easiest because I'm really only taking these classes to fill like my credit requirements. And I really wanna focus like more on just like work and building my resume, applying to jobs and you know other things this semester and I don't know I'm just like so done with school this is just me being so honest with you guys um I've never been super you know scholarly I always did pretty well in school but school is just not my favorite thing like the social aspect of it is honestly what has kept me here I mean honestly I would have never dropped out either way but the social aspect is like my favorite part of school even like when I was a kid I liked going to school because all my friends were there I just really like being around people so I like it for that but the school work itself is just it's not me you know I'm more of a creative and I like working on my own things and I like doing things that will actually help me in the future I mean not to say learning is not going to help you in the future because it is going to but for what I want to do in the future I feel like I could learn better online off of YouTube videos, off of Skillshare, and just real world experiences. I've honestly learned so much from this UCF internship. I've started to work in Premiere Pro and After Effects and I'm so excited for you guys to see like 
all the graphics that I'm going to be creating this year with After Effects because every graphic I do, I just keep getting better and better. I'm going to post my Nashville vlog today and if you guys have not checked that out already, go watch that because I am super hyped about all the graphics in there and I'm actually wearing my Nashville shirt right now that I got there and it's super comfy. Let me know if you guys have any video ideas for this year and especially for my last year of college. I want to do as many college videos as I can because, you know, while I'm here, I might as well and like I feel like doing sorority videos and college videos after the fact is just a little bit weird because I'm gonna be moved on you know and that's just not my life so currently I want to give you all the advice that I can think of so please 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 comment down those video ideas so I can write them down and plan them out for you guys if you don't follow me already go follow me on my Instagram I'll have a little QR code right here you can just go to Instagram act like you're taking a story but hold the screen and just scan this QR code um, if you don't want to type it in you can just follow me like this. I'm really trying to post on my stories more often, but sometimes I'm just not, well, majority of the time I'm not wearing makeup, but I really do want to engage with you guys more on Instagram. So again, go follow me in there and then you can keep up with my life. So I hope you guys enjoyed getting ready with me for my internship and just coming along for my errands and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!